Hello everybody, this is Seether Court, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. Last time we went and got taken care of all we could get else done with Beach Bowl Galaxy, and we got about uh, about three stars there, and we also took care of Bubble Breeze Galaxy and 100% of that galaxy as well. And I know said today we're going to get taken care of the other uh, two remaining galaxies in the kitchen as well as hopefully the Grand Star Galaxy, but I just realized we have enough star bits to go and take care of the third Humri Luma in this game, so we're going to go back, and we're going to unlock a new galaxy in here, so that's pretty cool. Hey, you, yeah, you got any tasty star bits? Bearing less snacky happiness transform 600. So we're gonna go take care of that now. Okay. Nice. That's that, that's it. I'm stuffed. Here you go. Transform. Transformers. Hungry Lumas are obese. Nice. The Drip Drop Galaxy has appeared. Awesome. So we're gonna go to that galaxy now. Ching. Awesome. Alright, so now, Drip Drop Galaxy Giant Eel Outbreak. Okay, so this is going to be kind of an interesting one, in my opinion. So, there's a look at it. And those are really disturbing looking eels. Look at their eyes. Like, <laughs> just faces like... <laughs> and there's the old penguin man with the amazing beard. The beard of wisdom. The beard of wisdom. And I don't know why we just looped around that whole thing and just came back around. But anyway, we took a U-turn. Alright. Let's talk to these penguin dudes. <laughs> Covering his face with a shell. Can you beat those Gringles by hitting them with shells? Oh no, I don't know, maybe. I, that's probably why I was aiming for like, you know, grabbing it. Let's talk to the old one. Ever since those big eels showed up, we haven't caught any fish. So you know what penguins are with their fish. So, tons of them right there. I don't know, why are certain penguins swimming in the water when the eels are really dangerous and you can, and you can kill all of them? I don't know, penguin logic, I guess. Penguins. Ugh. Kill this one right here. I will say, um, basically all you gotta do is just kill the three eels that are around here uh, with the shells. If you can use a red shell, some of them are located around here, and the red shells are helpful because they can uh, lock on to uh, certain eels if you're close enough to them, and they go slightly a bit faster. I think they do. I'm not confirming that, but this is what I'm implying. So yeah, here's another one, and take care of them. Hit them. Thank you. Get some star bits as well with that. And last one, I think. Three. There we go. Cool. And that was it. That was it. Simple as that. And there's the star after only like a minute. Oh my god. All right. So we're going to go down to the star right here and grab it. Nice. And that was weird. I'm sorry. Okay. So we take care of that star right there, and we help out Rosalina once again, where we see the beautiful Rosalina. Rosalina. <laughs> anyway. 34 stars. Okay. I continue now without saving. Okay. Where to next? We're going to go back to the kitchen to take care of the regular stars we have to do in there, the regular galaxies. And we still got two more galaxies to take care of before we get to the uh, grand star for the kitchen. So, get back in the kitchen, okay? <laughs> So sexist, anyway. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go and launch onto here, pull onto this pull star, and we're going to take care of the third galaxy in the belt, and that is... Ghostly Galaxy. This is one of my personal favorites, and look at that. There's a little meat. There's a little block of meat right there. It's so cute looking. It's all cartoony-ish meat. Oh. Was B being a puppy, I love... I love meat. It sounds so wrong, like, I'm not gay. No homo, but anyway. <laughs> Ghostly Galaxy, Luigi in the Haunted Mansion. Alright, let's take care of it. And there's Luigi. Wait, I thought we are Luigi. What the heck? This is insane. I'm going insane! There's two of me! Oh my god! Anyway. Okay. Alright. There's Toad's party inside their mushroom head. Mushroom ship. Mushroom ship. Anyway. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we can just sell the invincibility uh, star and we can go and take care of all these pumpkin enemies that are secretly disguised as Goomba, secretly disguised as pumpkins. Reminds me of uh, the Pumpkin Man, the Pumpkin King from Freaking Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, take care of this. You can uh, instead, uh, we're gonna have to get rid of this one uh, boo to get rid of this key. You could instead just use the um, guide the boo to the, towards a light that's over here, which you can flip on with this switch. But instead, I've already gotten it, so we don't have to do that. So yeah, that rainbow uh, star helps. 
All right, so now we gotta do take. We have to go and take care of collecting five of these uh, starship pieces. So we're gonna grab this one right here and miss it completely. One, uno. I'm gonna be like Dora. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. And also a little secret right here I want to show off that's not required, but it helps you get a lot of coins. I will say that if you um, go right over here and the Kuma fell through the hole too. Alright, and yes, you can get yourselves some coins if you want, so I'll quickly collect them and just show up. If you want to help your coin counter, which still in this game has no real purpose in my opinion, so I don't really see any more point to it, but it's just a little cute little like knick-knack secrets, and they're about to all disappear by God. Nice. Oh, I missed one. Aw, oh, it sucks. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Anyway. Oh, I thought I was about to fall into the black hole for a second there. I would... That made me go a little cold for a second there, but anyway. Okay, grab this one last chip, and... Oh, come on. Grab it. Cinco! Yes! Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Thanks, Dora. I don't speak Spanish, but anyway. Uh... I don't speak it now. I'm quoting a freaking Patrick from Spongebob about the but that freaking Goomba fell through the hole and died. I'm a terrible person. Luigi, you're awful. So is Mario. Okay... So, uh, if you look right over here, we have Luigi. Help! And that's crazy, there's two Luigis. Um, as you remember from, um, when you played through Mar with this game with Mario, uh, he, uh, it basically, it just shows Luigi there as well. I would have liked it personally if they would have showed Mario in danger, but I don't know if, like, that affects, that would be kind of awkward, you know, thinking about, like, Mario's supposed to save Peach and, like, Luigi saving him and things like that. I don't know. But yeah, I just find it a little weird how they just put another Luigi there, so, like, there's two of them, but still... You transformed into Boo Luigi. Shake the Wii Remote to banish. Okay, so basically you can banish. Do not appear under the light or you will be turned back into a human. So make sure you do not do that. Shake your Wii Remote to go through the walls. That's basically what we have to do. Now what you're going to do here is now that we got through this wall and Luigi's on the other side, he won't talk to us unless we are human. So we're going to get under this light and we're going to go launch over here and talk to Luigi. Luigi talking to Luigi. This is crazy. Oh my, are you me? Well, I guess there's enough people in the universe for one person to look like me. Anyway, I found a power star. Let's take it back. It's kind of awkward. But yeah, he has a different form of dialogue when you play through this as Mario. Yeah, he basically just says, oh, thanks, bro. I'm scared. But anyway, we got that. And now, let's go home. Awesome. And this is one of the few times you actually get to see the power star exit with both Luigi's. Double trouble. Um, when you play through this as Mario, you do get to see a, a, a really epic uh, cutscene or like usual star power collection scene, but with uh, both Mario and Luigi, which is pretty cool. 35 stars. Awesome. 136 star bits. Ah. Welcome back. Look. I can see your twin from there, from here. If you ask him, I bet he'll help you search for power stars. <laughs> And I'm sure he has a lot to tell you. You should go speak to him over there by the garage. Alright. So we're not going to save our game just yet. But we're going to go and talk to him. Because he's actually... It's really important that you do talk to Luigi. Because there is a couple power stars that will not be able to, uh, you know, access until we talk to him. Um, okay, let's talk to him. He's taller than us. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's the positioning. I think I'm not. they're not as tall. It's just a weird position I was standing on. But anyway... Hey me, you're looking for power stars, right? I think you missed one in the Good Egg Galaxy. I'll write you a letter and if I find it, check your mail. So yes, it is important to talk to the Mail Toad because when you do talk to the Mail Toad, you won't always get letters from Princess Peach. You will get letters from Luigi now from sometimes. So, but remember, you will only be getting these letters if you talk to Luigi after you save him. So you have to do that. Anyway, now we got that out of the way, we will now go back to the kitchen where our wife will be cooking us a sandwich. And that is really sexist and I apologize, but still... <laughs> We're going to go back now and go to the kitchen to back to Ghostly Galaxy. <laughs> All right, so let's go back in here. Woohoo! That was a perfect jump. I should be in the Olympics. All right. Grab onto this pole star yet again for the one millionth time. And we're going to go back to Ghostly Galaxy and take care of the second main star for this galaxy. So let's go. All right, so Ghostly Galaxy, a very spooky sprint. We're going to be going up in a race against Boo, which is one of the few times this game we'll be doing. I think it's like the first of two times this game we'll be doing it. Maybe three, I'm not exactly sure, but we do it at least two times in the game where we will race against Boo. Uh, uh, 
mode. Oh, excuse me. Again. Yeah. Alright. There's Toad dancing again. He's dancing. He's a dancing. Alright, I think there's something located in here. Oh, there's not. It's just an invincibility star. But, there's actually another full star here. Oh my god. Oh, it's so shocking. I think this is going to be a secret star. Alright. Yes, it is. This is actually a secret star. We're not going to be taking care of the boo just yet. We're going to be taking care of this star right here because I kind of screwed myself in doing that. But yes, secret star right here for boo. What we're going to want to do, though, is you got to make sure that you do not fall off the pathway. And I think I'm about to die. Hopefully, I don't die. Don't die, Luigi. Don't die! <laughs> Six deaths. Six deaths. I cannot pronounce it right. But anyway, right. All right. So we're going to go back now. So what we're going to do... Like this. We can go through the doorway now. Okay. Go through here. Oh god, I almost jumped off the ledge again. <sighs> Alright. Oh gosh! Okay, we're not gonna do that. We're going to instead go this way. And we shall collect this block right here to get some more coins. Or is it Starbits? Starbits. Okay, we're not gonna risk it though. Go away, boo! Oh yeah, as usual with all Mario games like from Super Mario World. If you face a boo, it'll stop following you, but when you're not looking at it, it will follow you and will damage you if it touches you, so be careful of that. God, I hear the star. I hear it somewhere. Oh my god. Got one coin. One coin! Okay, oh god, I do not want to die there. Thank god. Alright, so now we're going to grab this key right here, and this will open up these two doors, and it will reveal a big mystery coin, but now with that, we'll give the star bits, and the floor below us will start to disappear, and we'll go upwards, so we have to make sure we do not, you know, fall to our deaths. Get a coin right in here, just for the, just for the lulz. Just for the lulz, man, L-U-L-Z. Grab this, uh, one right here, if I can grab a few. Grab another key. Find the key, find the key, where the boot Anyway. Get this one right here as well. Grab up here. The star is right there, inside there, so we're gonna have to go and grab this. There's nothing in that door for some reason, but we're gonna grab our star quickly before we die. And there we go. Nice. Cool. Cool. So cool, guys! Oh my god! Anyway. I'm so awkward, I'm sorry. But anyway. You have collected star number 36. 63 backwards. Rosalie's gonna be talking to us again. Oh no, the mail toad. You have a letter from Luigi. Bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me! From Luigi. Oh, excuse me again, but anyway. Hmm, where is that place? It looks familiar, but then again. Let me give you the picture is so you don't forget where Luigi is. To view a picture, press the plus or minus to access the pause screen, then use the letter icon to check the picture. Alright, so I'm going to quickly show you this. Um, okay, I'm going to pause, and it'll show a letter we get from Luigi. So basically what you got to do is you have to look at the picture of where he is, and you got to figure out what level he's from, and then you have to go to the level and look into where a mystery star is, and then when you go to that mystery star, you will have to search for him in that level where he is. So... As you can tell, we see and see he's obviously in Good Egg Galaxy. So we're going to go back to Good Egg Galaxy, and we can see that there's a mystery star there. So we're going to go back there and finally travel back to the one galaxy that started it all, pretty much. Even though we had that one Grand Star Galaxy in the introduction of the game. But, oh well. Dino Piranha. We're going to have to go back to Dino Piranha for this. Very simple. They get a little bit more difficult as time goes by. There's only like three of these in the whole game three of uh, these type of Luigi missions, so it is important that you talk to him before, like, or talk to him immediately after you collect, you save him from Ghostly Galaxy, because he will not start doing this until you talk to him. A lot of people forget that, so we're going to do a triple jump up here. Talk to him. Thanks. Thanks. He said thanks. That's so sweet. You came to save me again. I knew I could rely on me. <laughs> what? The Power Star? Yeah, I got it right here. Yes, by the way, once again, he does have a different form of dialogue. From when you play as Mario. So yes, and we get our star right here. Now we are going to go and grab it. And now, once again, we will, shall see Double Luigi. Kind of weird. Luigi. Hmm. Luigi time. <laughs> oh well. All right. So now that we got that taken care of and out of the way, I think we got pretty much all we can get done for this episode. So we got about I think, four stars for this episode. That's pretty good, I guess. Yeah. All right. So. 
we're gonna wrap up this episode here so t t next time on let's play super luigi galaxy we are going to go back to the kitchen and we are going to go and continue with ghostly galaxy and take care of the second and third stars of the level and finally go see boo so thank you all so much for watching i've been seether cord and i will see you guys next time so goodbye everyone